Hey, welcome back to the shop. My name is John, and today we are working on a motor end bell. This end bell is of the two piece variety, and we are going to make it one piece. This came from a local greenhouse, and the maintenance guy was putting this motor back together, and I don't know exactly what happened, but he did break it. This is pretty common. These do break like this, just the fact that it's cast aluminum, which doesn't really have much flex. And as usual, I asked the customer if this is available, if they've looked it up to see what this is worth new. And this part is not available. So this is a great candidate to fix. And uh, this does fit back together very nicely, even though it, it looks pretty rough. This does fit back together almost perfect. And this will weld up very nicely. So even though this is a fairly short and small job, um, I wanted to film it because there's a little bit more than meets the eye here. Aluminum is challenging to weld. A lot of what I weld at the shop here is aluminum. A lot of my customers seem to have a uh, MIG welder or just ways to weld steel. But with aluminum, it's a little different. It's gotta be so clean. The prep is so vital. And a lot of times they come very dirty. And that's uh, aluminum kinda, the pores open and grab that dirt. And it's really hard to get that out of there for welding. The other challenge here is that this is from an electric motor. And uh, electric motors are some of the most precise things that we work on in the shop here. So because this holds one of the bearings that locates the rotor inside the motor, there's very little clearance on the outside, so that's gotta be incredibly precise. So we can't change any dimensions here. Let's get this cleaned up and let's get into it. So you can see that this is fractured off, but that's also what lets it fit so nicely back into place. So. We want to remove some of this, basically just prep it for a weld, pull some of it back so there's more weld uh, inside, not just sitting on the surface of this, uh, of this piece. So we're gonna remove some of this with a flap wheel like that, and then on this back side, but we are gonna keep a substantial amount in the center fractured so it fits nicely back into this. We're gonna do both sides of this, then we'll clean it up really well, and then we'll get this all clamped into place and we'll weld it up. I wanna have about a half inch border around here with no paint so it doesn't contaminate the weld because it's gonna be kind of close to here. Right where I'm going to put the weld, I don't want any possibility of contamination. So the best tool for that is just this single cut carbide burr. This will do a great job. So we're gonna bevel this all out. So you can see now that I have this uh, nice bevel all the way around, matching one on the back side. So that's gonna allow a little bit more penetration. Ideally, you would you'd make it just go to a complete point and you would have 100% penetration. That would be the ideal way to weld anything, that you need to be strong. But in this application, we also need this to go back into its exact place. So we're gonna just take advantage of the fact that it's a, a puzzle piece and it fits together nicely. So the only place that I'm not going to add weld is right on this locating diameter, on this outside diameter here. I don't want to put this back in the machine and remachine that out. Past experience tells me that uh, that doesn't always work out. It seems to pull out more material than intended on the lathe, so. So I'm not going to weld it all there, and we're just gonna do a good job welding up the rest of this, and that's, that goes for both sides. So you'll notice that when I clamped down the, the motor end bell here, I clamped it on two strips of stainless steel. That is to keep it from touching the aluminum table that I have here. That'll keep pulling the heat out of this. And just with aluminum, with my welder, I need all the heat I can get. So, so this will keep this uh, up to temperature longer. Okay, I've got this basically all fixtured up, held in all positions. And I can feel that this is almost perfect right here and it feels the same on the other side. The height looks good, it's exact. So I think we're ready to tack this in all the places that we can, but first we are going to heat it up.
So this is feeling really good. I'm gonna call this done. The welds turned out okay. Uh, it's never a beauty competition on fixing old things like this, but uh, the outside did weld really well. The inside had more porosity and stuff come up in it. We left some of that fractured area there. Without beveling completely, it is going to keep scooping up some of that uh, debris and uh, porosity. So we did the best we can, but this is a solid repair and this, this will be a very strong repair. There's absolutely no problems here. Uh, this, uh, the casting remained flat. And uh, after just sanding away slightly, these, uh, these edges feel perfect. So I'm really happy with this. This should just click back into place. I'm sure our customer will be very happy, especially in a situation like this where this had to be repaired unless they want to potentially buy a new motor. So, so anyways, this was fun. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, ask me in the comments. I'm, I'm happy to answer. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming along and uh, have a fantastic day.